This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross start your eyes. Sway in the morning. Shave four five. Welcome to the show. If you're just now tuning in, have to be. I'm chill. <laughs> I got my family up in here. Have to be. No doubt. Very personification of what it's all about. I like using that word. Hmm. Pers personification. Okay, 2015. Because a lot, a lot of what you, what you may be about, can be represented symbolically through somebody else's creation, mm. someone else's journey. I feel a freestyle. So you feel like you got kindred spirits mm. because we basically fight for the same cause through different means to arrive at the same heaven. Mm. Okay. Mm. Sound like you reading out of a self-help novel. <laughs> nah, well, you know, I kind of am because a lot of times I sit at home when I'm drawing blanks on the game and I got to self-help myself back in it. I see, I see. You know, so I, I, I dig deep. And uh, for years, this man, and, and as a collective and, and as an individual, um, has been um, giving the culture a lot of great food and nourishment yeah. to chew on. And he's here today with a new project called Words Paint Pictures. It's the only, the one and only big pool, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, how you been, man? I been good, man. I can't complain, man. I'm still breathing. Still breathing, still right? Still breathing. Mm. Don't I say that often? Y'all hear that, yep. right? Y'all hear me say that, right? Pool's like my, you know, that's like my parallel right here, man. Yeah, man, blessed, blessed to wake up every morning, so, yeah, you know. Amen. There it Amen. is, man. Now, where you staying at now? Where you live? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. So you, you ever be there? You ever be there? I was there <laughs> last year for the... Uh, and uh, some basketball things the, went to the, CIAA? The CIAA. I did something with uh, Toyota surrounding okay, okay. green energy. Yeah, I, I normally try to leave when the CIAA is Why down. is that, man? That's when like, all the people come nah, to town. I, I mean, I done did it. You know, I went to a school that was formerly in the CIAA, North Carolina Central Stand Up. Okay. So, you know, I've, I've been doing it since 98. Since yeah. 98. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. it's not new. This year, I was in Vegas oh. you know, doing doing the uh, roulette table. Okay, <laughs> great, great. Shake great. I see you giving back to the community. Um, <laughs> Definitely. Big Pooh is here. You know him of, um, from Little Brother. Is that where y'all met? Where did y'all We met? met in uh, school at North Carolina Central in Durham. That's uh -huh. where we met at. So, so y'all um, were in the same classes? You nah, same? not actually. Uh, well, we all ended up taking separate classes together, but... Um, I met Fonte in the dorm room, actually, okay. in the RA dorm room. Uh -huh. And then I still to this day I still don't know how I met Knife. We just met. Knife Wonder, right? I think we met in the calf or something. I don't remember. Serendipity. Okay. Yeah. Hey, do y'all still like when others put out projects, do you hit them up and go, yo, good, that was pretty dope, or do y'all do y'all do that anymore? Um okay. for the for the ones that's probably speaking to each other, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. makes that's sense. Still going on? <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I told you last time, though, man, yep, it's, it's yep. all love, though, man. Yep. I, I hope, I hope everybody the best, man. You did say that. Yeah. Remember, they came up here last time. Mm -hmm. It was in the other studio. Okay, so words paint pictures. You know, I had a chance to go through it, man. And um, there's a few songs that I want to ask you about. Okay, here. I got my titles together. First of all, I want to do what I call lyrical breakdown. I like okay, this part. okay. And that's where I pick a song off the album where the lyrics kind of touch me, and I want to kind of get the inside of the inside. All right. I don't get it. What exactly don't you get? Breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. What the hell did you just say? It's the lyrical breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. On Sway in the morning. All right, now this is a song. This is a project that had about nine tracks on it, uh, two remixes, right? Right. So it's kind of like an EP. It's exactly an EP. It's an EP. All yeah. right. And um, Apollo Brown, uh, he did the whole album, except for one of the remixes. Yep. Okay. Why? What made you do it that way? Um, the remixes we intended for two separate producers to do it, but uh, timing kind of, you know, plus Apollo, I was I was mad. He played a beat for one of the joints, original. He was like, yeah, I got this one, and I want to remix mm -hmm. the, uh, the song Promise Lane. He was like, I want to remix it with this beat. And I was like, why didn't you send me that beat at first? Yeah. So I definitely made him use that, but it was just more of a timing issue. So so for augmentation, I got the uh, La Orange remix? I think it's Lorraine. Lorraine. I got to ask him how to pronounce <laughs> yeah, it. La, okay, Lorraine's remix. Now, augmentation is the song that, um, which is the first song on the album, yep. on the EP, rather, that I want to ask you about the lyrics okay. and lyrical breakdown, all right? Okay. Now, I might have got these wrong and correctly, Big Poo. But, uh, you I actually know this song, so I can correct you if you okay, got it wrong. Okay, okay. Beatbox. This is Back to the Block. Before every rapper sold rocks. What yeah. does that mean? 
I mean, before everybody wanted to be a drug dealer, man. Like, uh-huh. You know, because it's a whole bunch of rappers that aren't really drug dealers, for those that don't know. Um, <laughs> so it's sarcasm. Definitely a sarcasm. You know, uh-huh. before everybody wanted to be, you know, a, a, a Don or, a, uh-huh. a, you know, a kingpin, you know, when people just wanted to entertain and have fun. So yeah. that's what I was talking about then. Do you think the public still buys into that imagery that these rappers, uh, a lot of those fake drug dealers put in their verses? I don't know what they buy into, but look at the numbers, man. Right. You know, yeah. The numbers say it all. Like I don't, I don't know if it's, you know, if they just see it like they watching, you know, Empire or something, or <laughs> you know, it's pure entertainment, or if they actually believe it. Like I have no idea. I'm not these people to yeah. to, to know, but um, I mean, that's what they flock to, though. Bobby Schmurda. Mm-hmm. But I think his was real. Yeah, I well, think that his was, was real. real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was good. It was a cautionary <laughs> tale, though. You okay. know what I mean? So yeah. that maybe we won't see so much of this glorified. Okay. Um, before everybody uh, needed rocks and they watch, just watch now. It's all about boardrooms and stocks. So things are changing. Yeah, man. I mean, that's that's a that's a uh, that's one of them things where you know, first it was all about shining and you know, flossing and whatever you know term you want to use, but now it's you know. Thanks to people like Jay Z, you mm-hmm. know, now people mm-hmm. want to, you know, they want to be businessmen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they want to, you know, I, I'm a boss and I run my own company and, you know, things they don't even have an EIN number, but they mm-hmm. run their own company. Can you explain an EIN number for us? Uh, that is the number that you use. That is for um, tax purposes for your company that yeah. you can file, you know, go. You can actually do that online. You know, it's different from your social security number. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a, uh, I forgot how many digits it is, but it's normally two dash. dash. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple okay. other digits. So Okay. Then they don't even have that. No. Nah, okay. Don't, they All don't right. even know what it is. All right. Them, okay. Sides. Words paint pictures. I'm an artist nonstop. Raw beats, raps. This is called hip hop. Only way I flop is belly first in the pool. People talk brand talk to a pimp. Cool. Nah, to appear cool. To appear cool. Yeah. Oh, to appear cool. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn to learn to follow the rules. I'm a man first, fool. Okay, so um Okay, only way I flop is belly first in the in the pool. What is what do you mean? That mean that numbers don't really mean anything to me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's just about getting the art out. A lot of people they they determine the success or the quality of a project based on numbers. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like so if your first week isn't crazy, oh you didn't sell fifty, sixty thousand first week, oh the album must be whack. Did you hear it? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. don't know why it didn't sell that many, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So um you but know, you know, someone who gets numbers say that's easy for someone who doesn't get numbers. But to numbers say. can be manipulated. I, mean, I say it all the time. You know, people like uh, women lie, men lie. Numbers don't. That's a numbers can be manipulated because men and women control the numbers. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I just think it's a thing of when you concentrate on numbers, you know, you don't it, like what does numbers have to do with you liking anything? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Good point. Good point. You know, re- re- regardless of you know, obviously, I know what labels use the numbers for. Yeah, but. As a fan, what does those numbers mean to you? Okay, Big yeah. Pooh is here. Uh, words, paint, pictures. It's the name of the project. Okay, I get school, chalk it all up to business, being shrewd. No guidelines. You're an outline, fool. Sharks in the water. This is what you want to do. For me, this is like breathing. Blood in the veins, muscle on the bone. We are not the same. Okay, sum that up for me, man. Outline. You're an outline? Yeah, you're an outline, Mean meaning, you know, you're like, you know, you're the walking dead here. Yeah. Oh, you're hollow. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Tracy. You helped yeah, him write this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, <laughs> Tracy, I like the poetry. I told you it's my favorite part. Keep Ghost going. Writer. Okay, yeah. thank you, Tracy. Uh, <laughs> for me, this is like breathing blood in the veins, muscle on the bone. We are not the same. I rap to make change. You rapping for the change. Scraps and Cadillacs. Go ahead and do your thing. Mm. 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 Yeah, no soul. just minimizing all those material things to scraps and Cadillacs. Yeah, yeah, that, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know that that was just you know, you know most people they I always ask young people when um when they want me to check their stuff out or they want me to work with them I ask them the first question I always ask them do you want a career or do you just want to hit like which one you want because it's it's two different paths. Yeah, you're lucky if you can get a hit while building a career, but a lot of people don't. You know, like mm-hmm. a hit hit, you yeah. know. So the, I always ask that question because, you know, I do this. I tell, you know, I'll tell them that I've been in this over a decade. So mm-hmm. I'm like big brother. I'm big homie. So when, when you come to me for some music, I'm going to give you some substance. Mm-hmm. You can go to them young dudes. You can turn up, hit the club, whatever, what you want to do. Mm-hmm. But when you come to me, I'm going to give you some substance. And that's the change I'm talking about. Like everybody, you know, I, I, I'm, I can't be turning up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know? yeah. Normally I'm just going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So 
I don't turn up all day. Your life isn't turn up all day. You know, it got to be some other parts to more dynamics to your life than that. And that's what I'm going to give you. And that's the change I'm going to give you. And a lot of people, they just they ain't about that, man. Big Pooh is here. Um, Words, Paint, Pictures. It's the name of the project available on iTunes today. Let's play Augmentation, and we're going to open up the phone line, 888-742-3345. Big Pooh is here, ladies and gentlemen. You don't mind when I say formally a little brother, do you? Nah, nah, Okay, nah, I just nah, like sorry. to put things in perspective for those who are just now tuning in. You know, Words, Paint, Pictures is the name of the um, the album. It's uh, the EP, rather, it seemed like that's a message in that too. Words paint pictures. Yeah. And and what 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 made you title it that? Um, I think I was just really trying to uh find a fit description for what I was about to do as I started um writing records for it. And uh a lot of the records are, you know, they told more in story mode. It's not a lot of, you know, just straight out rapping and boasting, you know. So it was more stories and I tend to write, you know, like if you really close your eyes or if you ain't got to close your eyes, but you really sit and listen, you can see what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So that's why I entitled it Words Paint Pictures. You know, this al- this EP has a lot of samples on it. And mm-hmm. we've been talking about, you know, what Pharrell has been going through, him and Robin Thicke with Blurred Lines. And, right. And, and, and now they're going after him for some other stuff, too. I, I understand. Happy. Um, how did you guys clear the samples on this project? They're coming down. They're coming down, man. I don't know, man. You know, just try to try to stay below the radar and you know work things out with people before it get crazy. You know, you've done that before. You've been sued for samples. Yeah, I know it for a name. I've been sued for a name. I you know had <gasps> had cats come about um you know different records or whatever, and we just you know we worked it out you mm-hmm. know as quickly as possible. I mean. You know, a lot of these guys, they be cool. You know, they like, all right, all right you know, let me get this and get that, and you know, then come come back and use some more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just it's just about you know being respectful about it. You know, when it when it does come across. So you settled out of court to avoid the big cost. Man, I can't afford to be going to litigation. I can't afford <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I barely could afford the payment. Yeah, the <laughs> but, settlement, right? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that because I'm always interested in the negotiations of sampling because I feel like you lose out on so much money. You know what I mean? I mean that's that's the way it's set up, man. Like you know. People they just see they see a payday, but it's all about the 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 size of the artist. You know what I mean? Like mm. the bigger the artist, the more they gonna want. Okay. It's like, oh, you're you know you're Jay Z. Oh yeah, we want it all because mm-hmm. we know it's a potential that record could be the record. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. It seems um it seems to me, and, and and just being a fan of you guys, like what is it that 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 groups just don't stay together? Like, you know, I mean, I have my opinion and we all do. But when you just go back and look at history, groups just don't stay together. It's like they break up, they come back together, break up. But but what do you think it is? Um, I think it's, you know, first growth, you know, it's 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 hard to for people, multiple people to stay on the same page, you know, mm-hmm. for a duration of time. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, people's goals change mm-hmm. and it doesn't always mean they change and you still end up moving in the same direction. So it's tough, man. I mean, it's, you know, it's like being in a relationship. It's, mm-hmm. it's a hard work. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And That's why polygamy don't really work out for folks. And some people, it depends on who you <laughs> ask. Too many people. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's just a thing of like, you know, <laughs> as you just, you just get older, you just, you know, you just start to see things differently. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's just tough. You know, like I said, when everybody, you know, has a way they want to move or think it's the way they should be moving. And mm-hmm. then all it takes is for one person to be like, nah, I ain't feeling that way. And there you go. That That's the that's the friction started. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's tough work, man. That's in, being in a group period. It's, it's, it's easy in the beginning because everybody has typically the same goal. We want to succeed. And everybody's broke. Yeah, everybody <laughs> broke and yeah. we want to succeed. And then, you know, when you start to have some success, mm-hmm. that's when you have, you know, goals change. Then you have outsiders who come in the picture because they want a piece of it. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, you ain't really getting your just due. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so, them. yeah, them, right. them outsiders come in and then Ego. things go haywire at that mm-hmm. point. We got Amanda on the line from San Antonio. Say what's up to Big Pool. What up, Amanda? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sway. I just wanted to say I, this is the first time I heard you guys on the radio, and I'm inspired, and I think you guys should keep the movement. I love to think. I love to have music that makes me think, and I, I appreciate you guys. Wow, okay. So, you know what? You can show that appreciation by picking up Big Pooh's new project. It's, it's called Words, Paint, Pictures. 
It's on iTunes. You got an iTunes account, Amanda? I don't. I don't play, but you know what? I will do that. This you, you know. You know you what? Damn, Amanda. It, it don't even matter. <laughs> it, you. We got it on Bandcamp. You know. You don't need. You don't even need an iTunes account for that. We got okay. it everywhere. All how, right. How do you feel about um, Spotify? Let's answer that question on the way back. <laughs> yeah. How does Big Pooh feel about <laughs> Spotify? And since Amanda likes to think, I want to play her this song called How I Move. All right. This is off the EP. Words, paint, pictures. Big Pooh. Words, paint, pictures. Big Pooh is here. I know you like that, have a beat. I put you in a certain mood, right? His music sounds really, really good. It's, it's, it's refreshing, you know? Like, I know we mentioned about the samples and everything, but it just sounds good. I, I just come from a place where I appreciate I appreciate how it's all put together. It's just not thrown in there and just used just to be using it. You know, it just really sounds good. I, I'm a fan. I've always been a fan, though. All right, we got Crystal on the line from Vegas. Say what's up to Big Pooh, Crystal. Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning. Mary Ann. I just first want to say I listen to you guys every morning on my way to work. Thank you. I don't think my radio moves from Shade 4 or 5 most of the time, so I appreciate what y'all doing on here. You're already a citizen, Chris. Plus, wait, in the mountain. All right, what you want to say to Big Pooh? I want to say that I remember when I was younger, well, they came out with a song, him and a, his little brother, they came out with, I believe it's called Whatever You Say, with a Maxwell sample. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, that shit go. I searched high and low. Cause I remember back in the day before iTunes, you just make mixtapes on your CDs and stuff. Oh yeah. I had it on. I had it on a CD, and I not too long ago I found it, and I still play it like all the time. Oh man, thank you, thank you, thank you. You remember that? No one? problem. Oh yeah, that was the remix. That was the whatever you say remix right there. Oh, whatever man. you say remix. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, wow. You go back and listen to a lot of uh, little brother music at all. You know what? That one was the one, the only ones I was uh, put onto, and then it was another one I think was called like. Uh, well, wait, well, hold on, Crystal. Let's just take a moment for this. Your body smelling like cinnamon, hair in the bun, your toes done so feminine. Hurt you suck your teeth like, oh no, hit me up again. Let me get your name so I can be more genuine. No need to front the kid knows you got many friends, many men who waiting to stake a claim on it. Put their name down just to spit some game on it. Well, fuck friends, I'm trying to set the mold, you know. Go at your heart like yeah, you, yeah, 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 you got to go get it. Buy it yourself. All right, uh, we got uh, <laughs> Man, that was... That's that's twenty that's twenty twenty one year old me right there. That's right, it is, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's crazy. Lex on the line from South Carolina. Say what's up to Big Pooh, Lex. What up, homie? What's good? What's good? <laughs> I ain't too much, man. Um, good morning, everybody else. Good morning. Uh, my question is, man, being that you're from Charlotte, you know, like why do you think like North Carolina, South Carolina artists don't really get a chance to do their thing? Like we get play in the state, but do you think it's a lack of unity? Within ourselves, or is it like the the game itself? Um. Well, uh, appreciate you calling in, bro. Uh, first, I'm actually from Virginia. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, I'm from Virginia. Um, nah. Uh, I think in North and South Carolina, man, it's definitely what you hit uh, handing on, man. Uh, it's a lack of unity, man. I, I tell people all the time that in order for you to really, you know, grow as a state, um, or or a region. Uh, you have to really uh, unify. You know, you can't worry about who's going to be the first out. You can't worry about who's going to be the king or what or the queen or what. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just got to group together, click up, and really make that move together. And that's the only way outsiders going to respect the whole region is by y'all moving together, not separately. Okay, thanks for your call, Lex. So I wanted to know how you feel about Spotify because there's so many <clears throat> different ways people can get music. And I remember one time we had Talib Kweli up here and he has like his own download or streaming service so right. that he can keep all of the revenue. But I know that, you know, you lose a lot as an artist, even though it is a great promotional tool. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... It's conflicting, I'm, right? I'm, I'm, I'm definitely conflicted with... Spotify and you know Pandora and and all that. I mean, cause I, I mean I looked at my statement one time, and I had like nine or ten thousand spins on the song, and I only got like seven dollars from it from wow. Spotify. And so you know, of course you look at the you look at that, you be like, oh, this is crazy, this is bullshit. But at the same time, that's how a lot of cats end up getting put on to my music is through. Yeah. them streaming services because they'll start up a little station or whatever and then all of a sudden my song will come up in the mix. You know what the best so, one, Not to cut your answer off, man. That's why we here at Sirius XM, bro. 
are 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 artist friendly, man. Instead of going to those places, if you hey, want to hear the music, come man, here, man. Come here to Sirius XM come and here. get our app, right? That, no oh, y'all got an app? Yes, Absolutely. we got an app. You can go to SiriusXM.com oh, go get, slash go on app. demand slash Sirius XM. You get all the apps, and we play the music constantly right here at Sirius yeah, XM. I need this app. And yes, you do. It. And then Trace is going to start wearing a Sirius XM shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah, that mobile know. app. Yeah, she's graduated, man. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.